Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.5 and problem number 2.75. A prismatic bar AB of weight W is equal to 62.3 newtons and length L is equal to 2.44 meters is hinged to a vertical wall at A and supported at its other end B by a horizontal strut BC. Find the compressive force S yes, induced in the strut and their reaction Ra at A if alpha is equal to 25 degrees. That means there is a prismatic bar of having weight W and length L is supported at A by hinge and it is also connected with a string. Our interest is to find the force in the strut BC. Let us consider the free body diagram of AB. What are the various forces acting on AB if you look at that. Now here I can find a hinge here. Hinge will introduce two reactions. The first reaction is horizontal reaction let this value is RAH and this vertical reaction it is RAV. We are assuming it in the downward direction. You can also assume in the upward direction and you can proceed. And there is a self weight W and there is a string. The string will introduce a force yes along the string or strut and it is away from initially we are assuming it is a tensile force if we get negative at the end that means it is a compressive force now let us apply the equilibrium equation sigma fx is equal to zero there are two forces acting along x-axis hence i can say rah is equal to yes Next sigma Fy is equal to 0. There are two forces acting in the upward direction. Both are in the downward direction. Hence, I can say Rav plus W is equal to 0. This is the second equation. Now, we need to consider the moments about A. To consider the moments about A, Rah and Rav is passing through the point will not introduce any moment. W will introduce a moment, but W will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction. S also will introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction. Now, we required the distances. Now, the line of action of W is this one. And I want this distance, perpendicular distance. This is the distance I require. Now, given that the length of the bar is AB, and this length is equal to L by 2 and also given that this angle is alpha hence this distance I can say it is L by 2 into cos alpha. Similarly the S yes, this is the line of action of the S yes force and from this point I would require this distance. Now by considering the big right angle triangle ABC this length is given as L and this angle is alpha. Hence, I can say this is L into sin alpha. Now, I can take the moments about point A and which gives the values like this. W into L by 2 into cos alpha. It is a positive moment because it is introducing the moment in the counterclockwise direction. S also introduce a moment in the counterclockwise direction. Hence, S into the perpendicular distance is L sin alpha. W value is given, alpha value is given. So I can substitute now S is equal to minus W into cos alpha divided by 2 into sin alpha. LL gets cancelled and you will get this equation. So W value is given as 62.3 by 2. Cos alpha by sin alpha is cot alpha and it is cot 25 because alpha value is given as 25. Hence upon simplification I will get S is equal to minus 66.8 newtons. That means, what is the meaning of that minus? Minus indicates the initial assumed direction is wrong. Initially, we are assuming it is a tensile force. But now, I can conclude that 66.8 newtons is a compressive force. The same thing is also mentioned in the problem. And we also proved that S value is 66.8 newtons and it is compressive. Our all interest also to find the value of Ra reaction at A. For that we need to find Rah and Rav. 
from equation 1 ra h is equal to s hence ra h is equal to s is equal to 66.8 newtons and ra v is equal to minus w hence it is minus 62.3 what does that indicates the initial assumed direction of downwards is wrong and the force is acting in the upward direction like this but the magnitude is 62.3 now you know ra h and you know ra v hence you can find the reaction at a which acts like this and the magnitude is given as a root of RAH square plus RAV square and it gives the value 91.34 newtons. Hence, S is equal to 66.8 newtons and RA is equal to 91.34 newtons. These two are the answers for the given problem.